Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art drawing channel. Today we're going to be playing with stencils and creating a embossing resist in our backgrounds. So this is a really cool background to use for any um, journal page if you wanted to, but I'm actually using it on two A4 sheets because I want to cut these backgrounds up to make the bases for ACT cards, Artist Trading cards. Um, when I'm doing stuff like this, I like to do two at once just because, but you can certainly obviously do it one, one page at a time. And as I said before, you can do this on your, in your journal, um, but probably if you're practicing with it, I'd do it on a piece of paper to begin with, just because you're actually um, using some heat and embossing with it can be a little bit tricky to do in a journal. So I've just started off with the two pieces of paper and just covered them with acrylic paint. You can see I've gone rainbow colours like I usually do, made it really, really bright. It is very patchy and that's okay because we're going to do a few layers with this. So I've just grabbed my first stencil and this one's got lots of patterns on it. I think it's called Circular Pattern Play. And just with my embossing um, Versamark ink pad, I'm just going through some embossing powder and, oh sorry, embossing ink, so sticky ink, and um, covering the background. So this is clear embossing powder I'm putting on at the moment. Any type of embossing powder will work. You could use your Distress Glazes if you wanted to, and that would give you a little bit of colour. But I just wanted to have it nice and clear because I've got those beautiful bright colours in the background, um, and I wanted to make them really really shine so embossing powder if you haven't come across it before is a type of plastic granule and when you heat it up it melts so I'm just using my heat gun on it and you can see it going shiny which means it's melted if um, you don't see it change if you don't see it go shiny you just need to heat up a little bit longer you'll notice I have actually lifted it up off my glass plate because it melts faster it gets a little bit steamy behind the um, paper if you leave it on the glass so if you can put a bit of air behind it that's okay obviously if you were doing this in a journal um, just be aware that if you've got other things on the back that will melt um, you just need to be a little bit careful with that so now I've got my resist on I'm going in with some more acrylic paints over the top in contrasting colors and you can sort of see how that resists happening. So you can see those bright colours underneath and I'm painting over the top. Now, and this gets a little bit messy at one stage because I then started to mix the colours together. Um, so I got a little bit of brown happening, but you know, it's all a work in progress and it really didn't matter in the end. Um, I'm just rubbing off the excess paint because acrylic paint will dry on every, anything. So if you do leave it over the top of the resist, um, or where the embossing powder is, um, it will paint over the top of it and stay there. So I've just wiped it away. So you can still see those colors from below coming through with the, the clear embossing. To add a little bit of white space to this now, I'm going in again with a different stencil and now I'm going to put some white embossing powder over the top. So you, again, you could use any color embossing powder you wanted to, I'm just using white. Um, and I'm just using parts of the stencil, I'm not doing over the entire sheet. So um, you can, you know, pick and choose what patterns you want. Because I know I'm cutting this up into small pieces afterwards, it really doesn't bother me what's where. Um, if, if you were doing a bigger picture, that's when you might want to um, be a little bit more particular with what you're doing. So again, you can sort of see I'm using different stencils and same thing, just popping on the embossing powder, pouring it off. This one I got a little bit more heavy handed with, so there's a bit more happening on it. Um, and then you'll see the white come up again. So you get this really cool background, you get all these layers happening. Um, you get the different layers of paint happening as well as just a really fun way to build a background. Obviously you could do something very similar with paints if you wanted to, but I wanted to try with a different medium just to have a textural element to my page. So um, to make something a little bit different. So you can see with my stencils there, I'm just cleaning off. The final thing that I'm going to do is just to add a little bit of black to my page and I'm doing that just through a little bit of stamping with background um, images. You can see my little box of background mic making stamps. Again, very, very random because this is going to be cut up into pieces. So this is like my, my background masterboard or matrix that I'm, I'm going to use to cut up. 
Um, so it is very, very um, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and once you cut into smaller pieces it makes it come together so when I do cut my pieces up um, what I do with them then is I decorate them so obviously I've got a very very bright colored background so what I chose to do with my ACTs is to um, put um, art by Mylene cutouts or the Dilusions cutouts, um, any printable stickers on there that I can use. I also use quote stickers um, just to make them really fun. So Ida's trading cards are lots of fun. If you look up on the internet, I've got a few videos on my channel as well, which I'll link to this video about how I further decorate them. But for this pile, these sat here for a little while before I actually did anything with them. I just like making the backgrounds um, and having them sitting there for those days that I don't wanna do a full journal page, but I've got an opportunity to um, decorate something. So you can see all the different pages and what they look like cut out. This is a close up and you can see the shiny from the um, clear embossing in the background then the white over the top. This is the second piece. You can see how the stamping goes over and through the layers of embossing to create some really cool textures. You can still see the layers of paint from underneath. And these are the final um, ACTs cut up into the smaller sections ready to be decorated. So I hope you have a go at trying this um, embossing resist technique um, in your backgrounds. Lots and lots of fun, something new to play with and until next time, bye for now.